Welcome to the world of organic chemistry, the study of carbon compounds. Hydrocarbons are among the most commonly encountered organic compounds. Hydrocarbons are composed entirely of carbon and hydrogen. They are the organic compounds of simplest composition and may be considered as the parent substances from which all other organic compounds are derived. Carbon compounds can be found in natural substances such as natural gas, coal tar and petroleum. These complex mixtures can be refined into simpler mixtures of pure substances by fractional distillation. What you see here is an oil refinery where crude oil and natural gas are being extracted from the ground. During the refining of petroleum, one kind of hydrocarbon is often converted to another. Each fraction consists of a complex mixture of saturated, unsaturated, aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. Gaseous hydrocarbons escape from the top of the tower and a semi-solid fraction is drawn from the bottom. Aromatic hydrocarbons, which consist of one or more benzene rings, occur naturally in crude oil. Benzene, the parent compound of this large family of organic substances, is a planar hexagonal molecule with carbon atoms situated at the six corners. Each carbon in benzene is sp2 hybridized, with a p orbital at 90 degrees to the hybrid orbitals. Each p orbital on one carbon overlaps with another p orbital on another carbon. This creates a chain of connected pi orbitals with the electrons in these orbitals free to move about the molecule. All the pi electron density is evenly spread around the benzene ring. Here is a list of common benzene substituents that you should know. Fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo, nitro, Sulfonic acid. We have a special system of numbering for disubstituted benzene ring. If the substituents are in 1 2 position, they are known as ortho with the letter O in front of the name of the compound. If they are in the 1 3 position, they are meta with a letter M in front of the name of the compound. And if they are in the 1-4 position, they are known as para, with a letter P in front of the name of the compound. Click on the structural formula to view the 3D molecular structure. For more than two substituents, start the first one alphabetically and name them as usual. Click on the structural formula to view the 3D molecular structure. There are a number of common names associated with aromatic compounds. You need to memorize the ones shown here.
The common names mentioned earlier can replace benzene as a parent name. Click on the structural formula to view the 3D molecular structure. When a benzene ring is used as a substituent, it is called a phenol. The alkanes, sometimes called the paraffin series, are a homologous series of saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. They have little affinity for other reagents because their carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds are unreactive. Click on each component to know more. In an alkane hydrocarbon molecule, only single covalent bonds are present, making the composition of each of the members of the series correspond to the formula CN H2N plus 2. Click on the structural formula to view the 3D molecular structure. The first four members of the alkane series are gases at ordinary temperature and pressure. The intermediate members are liquids, while the heavier members are semisolids or solids. To name the structure of an alkane as not to be identical to the name of any other compounds, we can use the IUPAC nomenclature rules. Follow the simple steps to name an alkane. Step 1. Begin by finding the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. That will provide the stem name for the compound. In this case, the longest chain contains 10 carbon atoms, so the stem name is decane. Step 2. Each substituted group is indicated by a characteristic prefix. The presence of two methyls is evidenced by the use of prefix di. Step 3. Finally, the number of the carbon atom to which it is attached indicates the position of attachment of each substituent. Commas are used to separate the number for the same substituent and a dash separates the numbers from the name. Then, list the substituents alphabetically without considering the prefix. That makes the correct name for this alkane 4 ethyl 2 8 dimethyl 5 isopropyl decane. The alkanes, sometimes called the paraffin series, are a homologous series of saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. They have little affinity for other reagents because their carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds are unreactive. The alkene series, or olefin, are chains of unsaturated hydrocarbons in which a double bond exists between two carbon atoms. Click on the structural formula to view the 3D molecular structure. Geometric isomers may occur in alkenes since they contain carbon-carbon double bonds which fail to rotate. Take dichloroethylene for example. The molecule can exist as one of the two geometric isomers, cis-1,2-dichloroethylene or trans-1,2-dichloroethylene. 
Click on each isomer to view their 3D molecular structure. The alkene series are formed in large amounts in petroleum refining, particularly in the cracking process. The general formula for this series is CnH2n, where n is the number of carbon atoms. As in the alkene series, the lower members of the alkenes are gases, intermediate compounds are liquids, and the higher members of the series are solids. However, the alkene series are more chemically active compared to the saturated compounds. They react easily with substances such as halogen, hydrogen halides and others, adding atoms at the double bonds. Click on the play button to start the animation. Alkenes undergo an addition reaction with hydrogen to produce alkanes. The addition of hydrogen to an alkene is called hydrogenation, while the addition of a halogen is called halogenation. Click on the play button to start the animation. The addition of an oxidizing agent like potassium permanganate to an alkene results in a diol. Click on the play button to start the animation. Alkenes will also undergo polymerization because many of them are monomers. When they are attacked by an initiator, they create a carbonion, which in turn will attack other alkenes, creating a larger chain. This reaction will require a metal catalyst. Click on the play button to start the animation. To name the structure of an alkene as not to be identical to the name of any other compounds, we can use the IUPAC nomenclature rules. Follow the simple steps to name an alkene. Step 1. Begin by finding the longest continuous chain of double bond carbon atoms. That will provide the stem name for the compound. In this case, the longest chain contains 10 carbon atoms, so the stem name is dekene.